In this tutorial, we'll be going over the best way to make dashed and dotted lines using Inkscape. Now, there's a couple of ways in which you can do this, and I'm going to show you both just to demonstrate why one is better than the other. So I'm going to start off by grabbing my rectangle tool, and I'm going to click and drag to draw a rectangle on my canvas. And I'm going to remove the fill color by clicking this X down here, and then I'm going to add a black outline by holding the shift key and clicking on the color black in my palette. So now I'll come over here to my stroke style menu, and I'm going to make the stroke size a little smaller. Now, if I want to make a dotted or dashed line out of this stroke right here, all I have to do is come over to this drop down box where it says dashes, and it gives me all of these different patterns to choose from. We have dotted lines and we have dashed lines as well. So for this demonstration, I'll just pick this option right here so you can see how it looks. And if you want to change the style of these dashes, you can see here they have rounded caps. If you want to make them have squared caps, you can just come over here to the cap setting and change them to be shorter, longer, or rounded. So for this demonstration, I'll set them about right here. And I'm going to choose a different pattern from this drop down. I'll go with this one right here. Now, if I grab my selection tool and deselect this, you can see we've created a dashed outline. The problem is that this dashed outline doesn't look very good when you focus in on the corners. There's a lot of inconsistency there. So there's actually a better way to make dashed lines that fixes this problem. So let's have a look at that. Let me zoom out here a little bit. And I'm going to duplicate this object. I'm going to press Control D to make a duplicate of this. I'm going to move this over here. And I'm going to set this stroke uh, style back to a solid stroke like that. And now, instead of using the dashes drop down to apply a dotted line, I'm going to use a path effect instead. So I'll come over here to my path effects menu. If you need to access the path effects menu, just go to path and select path effects. And then I'm going to click on this drop down right here. And the path effect I'm looking for is the one called dashed stroke right here. Now, the way that this works is this input value right here that says number of dashes, this represents the number of dashes on one side of the object. So if I increase this to five and I zoom in on my object here, you can see I have five dashes on the top. Now, these are half dashes at the ends here. And the reason why they're half dashes is so that on the other sides, it meets with the other half dashes and it has a more consistent look. If you don't like that setting, you can come over here to where it says half start slash end and deselect that. And now you have full dashes for each side. But the difference is now the corners look a little larger than the other ones. Now, what makes this such a better tool to use than the regular dashes drop down box is that it gives you so much more granular control over these settings. So I'm going to put the half start end back on and I can increase the number of dashes by increasing or decreasing the value right here. And if I want to change the spacing between these dashes, I could just come down here to where it says whole factor and a greater value will decrease the space between the dashes and a lower value will increase the space between the dashes. And if you want to make a dotted line out of this, you could just come back over here to your fill and stroke menu, come over here to your stroke style tab, and you could change the caps of these dashes the same way you can with these ones. So if you want rounded caps, you can click on that. And then you can make the corners rounded as well. If I zoom in right here, you can see these corners are sharp. I can make these corners either bevel or I can make them rounded or I can make them sharp. So I'm just going to go with rounded because I'm going to create a dotted line now. And I'll come back over here to my path effects menu. And I want to take the whole factor and bring this down as far as it'll go, which is negative 0.999. So now we have dots. And if I increase the number of dashes, now we have more dots on our dotted line. So both of these methods will work to help you create dashed and dotted lines in Inkscape. It's just that the path effect option is better because it gives you more control over the outcome. And that should do it for this tutorial. As always, thanks for watching. If you found this lesson useful, then consider checking out my Inkscape Masterclass. It's a collection of over 60 videos where I go over all of the tools and features in Inkscape, and I explain what they are and demonstrate how they work. Kind of like how I did in this video. We even have a private community where you can ask questions and get help from me anytime you want. And best of all, there's no monthly membership fees. You just pay $17 one time and you're in for life. I'll have some information about that down below if you want to check that out. As always, thanks for watching.